all right welcome back guys now we've been able to create a model which is a structure that will help us save something to our database uh at this point we can now do the first operation to our database which is to create a task so i'm just going to come down after my home route i'll add a comment here and i'll say create a task in the database of course now we are going to now say app dot and what kind of request is this going to be from our previous lecture it's going to be a post request because we use a post request when we want to send some information to the database all right so here we want to save a task to the database what are we going to call the name of this url though well i want it to be localhost port 5000 forward slash okay so i'm not going to add the port 5000 i'll just go straight to forward slash because here remember we just went straight to forward slash for the home so forward slash api because we're creating an api endpoint and then i'll say forward slash tasks plural now if you are creating a public api then i think it actually makes sense for you to give it a version so that if you release subsequent version you can just change that so most times when you see other like public apis you see something like api forward slash v1 and then forward slash something but because we are creating just a private api for this simple application i'll keep things short and then i'll say api forward slash tasks now i'll just add a comma here and use my arrow function to open this guy up then here i would don't forget to slot in your request and your response okay great however there's something we need to do we need to make this process asynchronous okay it's better to make it asynchronous and you can also check out the mongodb documentation for the different ways different uh, styles you can use to make requests to your database but here i'll just say async like so just in front of this um parenthesis here so now we've made this process asynchronous so the first thing i'll do is i'll just introduce you to another property of this request um, object here and that is the request dot body what is this request dot body well it actually just the it's actually just the body of data that is sent with the request and we're going to see that shortly so what i gotta do here is i'll just cut this out and put it in a console.log so console.log request.body right then i will maybe do a response.send so that it doesn't load infinitely and then i'll just send maybe task created so task created so now what we want to do is that we want to experiment to see what this request.body actually is all right um so i'm gonna save this file save and then i'll go to my remember what this url is api forward slash tasks and then i'll just go to my testing software which is insomnia so in this case i'm using insomnia now in this insomnia the first thing i want to do is i want to create a folder that will hold all of our um test requests all of our requests api requests so i'll come here and creates i'll click on this icon here and i'll say new folder what am i going to call that folder i'll call it task i'll just say main hyphen tasks maybe main task and then i'll click on create all right so you see here we have the folder here if you click on this arrow here then you see the option for new http request go ahead and click on that and then here you can now post in your url that you want to test uh okay i don't want to have to type localhost 5000 so let me just grab that from this guy here i'll copy that and i'll bring back my insomnia and then i'll just paste that in so it's localhost port 5000 forward slash api forward slash tasks all right and what kind of request is it it's a post request so make sure you select post and then go ahead and send oh no 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 you cannot just send sorry about that you need to specify some information in the body so you see this body here click on it and 
I'm just going to specify a JSON here and the JSON is just like an object here that is going to have a name and a value so for keep things simple I'll just give it a name of name and I'll do like this colon and then I'll give it some value so maybe task one for example okay just a simple um, data here that I want to send now I know that I'm going to get an error right but I just want to make the error show then we'll now see how we can solve it so I'll click on send and watch what happens I get a response here it says 200 which is okay then I now get this message task created now at this point I think I can you know shrink up this guy insomnia and when you shrink it up it's actually very responsive so I can put it on one side of my screen like this and then I can just do my test here and then my coding editor is here now this request was successful so that's why I got a response of 200 and task created is sent here if you come back here though you will see that in our console.log we have undefined in our terminal we have undefined now why is this undefined here instead of logging let me close this up instead of logging the request.body why are we getting undefined now this is where I will now introduce you to a concept called middlewares so in the next video I'm going to now talk about middlewares